I feel like if I don't do the folks thing at the beginning, it's like a, it's like a staple of the channel. It's like a consumer staple. Folks, my name is Rudy. You're watching Timmy's Emporium. So I've been bombarded in the last 72 hours of, excuse me, yes, you in the back. Uh, can you explain what the hell a Dominaria remastered is? Glad you asked, Sunshine, because uh, I have no effing clue, and nobody does. I even asked distributors, and I sent messages. I even sent a message to my ex. I asked my uh, grand-grandparents, great-grandparents, goldfish sisters, ex ferret. Nobody knows. So, but it sounds like right now, um, it appears we got a new Time Spiral remastered type product coming out here uh, in Q1 of 2023. Um, honestly, I think it's a hell of an idea. You're, you're running on the backs of the name Dominaria, the name remastered. I mean, everybody's fresh. I know, I know what you're going to say. Here it comes. Everybody's freshly remembering Time Spiral Remastered was a huge set. Commander Legends was a huge set. Let's use the name <laughs> and make Commander Legends 2. Let's make a new remastered set. I know. A little bit of shakiness here. So, in my opinion, I don't know anything about the product. There's a lot of speculation going around. But as of right now, it appears, because uh, remember, this is going to be around the same time period as the end of the year, Q1, where Brothers War is going to be in standard and all this stuff, and a lot of artifacts, a lot of things like that. And it feels like this Dominaria Remastered is going to be kind of a throwback of original Dominaria, maybe the Dominaria Unlimited Money Machine, or Dominaria United. Um, and then they're going to kind of do some, you know, ret remastered retro frames and different variants, and... Maybe some old school antiquities type throwbacks and mixing and you know Urza's Mishra thing and you know there's a lot of speculation. We don't know. The only thing I do know is anytime they use the word remastered, well, they're probably gonna have retro frames and old versions of things and kind of mixed together. And on the backs that we know, 24 months ago, Time Spiral Remastered came out. Everybody's like, Wow! Wow, Rudy's off, Rudy ripped off his patrons at 189 and I never got any more boxes, and uh, the price just went to the moon and Never even got to do box openings and never even got a second wave and Papa Bezos and got a second, third, fourth wave and just built a bunch of penis rockets and all the stores got screwed. So, um, I would expect Dominari Remastered to have different Dominari cards, retro frames, different foiling, old foiling with shooting stars. I also expect it to have textured cards because it does appear that Dominaria Ford uh, the chase cards and collector boxes are going to be textured related cards. Um, that does appear to be a thing, which unless you've been living under a rock, you know Wizards releases things. A serialized secret lair card, a textured card and uh, double masters, uh, an extended art card and ultimate masters. They always do something as a test. And then once it looks good, they deploy it and execute it on the full Monty. And that's what we're seeing. So I do expect textured cards to continue to improve, evolve, and be in all future products. And I expect that, uh, well, I expect retro frames and shooting stars and textured cards and uh, this Dominaria remastered. And yes, folks, um, I think this is kind of the specialty product that's kind of replacing the Modern Horizons 2 situation. It's kind of a little... Because we always have a specialty product going on. Like, unless, if you've been in Magic long enough to know, we have all the standard sets. We get an occasional unset. Commander stuff. Back in the day, we had dual decks and from the vaults and, you know, all kind of modern event decks and different things. And uh, we usually have a specialty. Conspiracy. Battle Bond. Conspiracy 2. Um, modern Horizons 1. Modern Horizons 2. And I believe uh, 2023's era, next year's era of product, the specialty set is going to be this remastered set. Um... I'm not going to just say go in all in and make quick tendies to the moon because it's 2023 and we're out of the bear market because, you know, they have now proven to all of us that they will use a name, you know, Commander Legends, uh, as a selling ploy to bait and switch us and possibly nuke the economy and the stores and distribution. So until we get more information on it, I would say be very cautious because we don't know. Wizards historically does a good job, um, but sometimes they do fumble. And when it fumbles, it becomes a ripple of just disastrous proportions. So, my opinion so far, on the backs of Boulder's Gate and the backs of everything else going on, I don't think there's going to be a lot of downside risk to Dominaria Remastered. It's probably going to do very well. And there's probably going to be some surprises and hidden things in the product. Because I think Wizards... It, do you guys agree with this before I cut the video off? I feel like Wizards has finally understood the concept that to prevent 
higher end products from collapsing in secondary market value and being able to sell a lot with the print run size, they need to have something special in the product. Kamigawa, neon ink. You know, you need to have, you know, double masters. Well, just a million good things. And of course, textured stuff and all kinds of crap. You know, the unset, apparently the cards aren't going to be silver board. You're going to have crazy stickers and different impacts and effects. They're going to be shock lands. I mean, they've learned that they have to support the premium level products with things that get the market excited. And I think they have finally really understood that on the backs of the shockwave that was Boulder's Gate. So, you know, we're seeing Dominaria United coming up pretty soon here in the next few weeks. And we now know they put Legends cards in the collector box. And now we found out that there's etched, or I'm sorry, not etched, textured cards in the collector box. So with this price increase that they're doing, they're not taking any chances on the secondary market. They are overloading it to prevent these collector boxes from collapsing. So Wizards has made adjustments to make sure that I believe, moving forward, this is going to be a lot less, uh, it comes out and collapses. I think that's what they're trying to prevent because it's been causing a lot of damage. And of course, Wizards themselves are, is having a hard time selling their own product on Papa Bezos' website. The Wizards direct side of Hasbro Watsi is having a hard time. So that's my theory. That's my opinion. That appears what's going on. I'm sure over the next 90 days, when the first Dominaria comes out, and we start cracking collector boxes, and everybody's doing the Legend card chase, and then we go to this unset later in the year, and we kind of see Brothers War. We want to see how the end of the year unfolds, but again, I've been very adamant with everybody in the last three months that this cruel summer has come to an end. It was the bottom of the bear market, and I do believe moving into the end of the year, moving into next year, we're going to see a lot more stability, and it's going to feel it's going to feel a lot better in the collectible world, even in, even in the stock market and Wall Street, I think the overall volatility and just that falling knife is, is going to have kind of, it's going to feel better. I don't think things are going to skyrocket. I don't think all the reserve list is going to 10x. I don't think anything's really going to do that. But I think we're, we're in for a good, stronger, healthier market as we rebuild from this summer collapse. So it looks pretty good so far. And um, it's exciting that we have something replacing Modern Horizons 2 as a premium specialty product around that $200 box range. And uh, uh, hopefully, again, I usually don't add, I don't really push for high print runs and multiple print runs. Because again, it's a collectible card game. It's supposed to be rare. It's supposed to be expensive. It's supposed to feel good and be special. But I really hope Wizards doesn't do a Time Spell Remaster one and done and just shock the system again. I hope there's at least a second wave, you know. And I don't, when I say second wave, I don't mean double masters where... All right, here's the rest of the product. Every store gets a couple cases. Like, I hope it's an actual decent amount where, like, people can sell it for on a regular basis for many months. That's all. It doesn't need to 10x your money overnight. It really, it's not needed. So, I'm excited about it. Hope you guys learned something today. If not, uh, I don't know. Uh, your wife's boyfriend says hi.